This is Mayor Broda. There is more good news on the local COVID front. Today's DPH, weekly COVID-19 statistics indicate Melrose is still yellow and our statistics continue to improve. Our positivity rate is at 3.58% and our average number of positive cases per 100,000 has dropped from 51.0 last week to 42.9. Please keep up the good work. And if you think you need a test, there are free options as close as Saugus and waiting times continue to improve. Even if you have no symptoms, it's a good idea to get tested. And an update on vaccines. Tomorrow at Memorial Hall, we will be holding our final vaccination program exclusively for people in phase one. Our health department, in partnership with five other communities of the Mystic Valley Public Health Coalition, is continuing to plan and hold clinics, though our future plans are subject to vaccine availability as determined by the federal and state government. I know you are all anxious to get the vaccine, and I share your frustration that it isn't happening more quickly. We have heard from many Melrosians about the difficulties they have had using the state website to book appointments. You should know that the city did not design and does not control that site. The good news is the state has indicated it is planning improvements to the site and is setting up a call center to help folks. In the interim, Melrosian should call our Council on Aging for assistance. Now, please understand that the COA does not have better access to appointments, but it is able to provide assistance to those having trouble navigating the website and to those who do not have access to the internet. To get help from the Council on Aging, call 781-662-6886. Because of the heavy call volume, you will likely have to leave a message, but can expect to call back within 24 hours. And you can still try the state website at maimmunizations.org, as the state has said it will be adding a large amount of new appointments every Thursday. Please be patient. It is going to take quite some time to get everyone in Massachusetts vaccinated. The state is trying to improve the system, and Melrose stands ready, willing, and able to help now and as more vaccine becomes available. This information is changing very often, and we are committed to keeping you updated as these plans change. In the meantime, and until public health authorities change the rules, please keep wearing those masks, washing your hands, maintaining social distancing, and cooperating with contact tracers. As you've seen from the numbers, we are making significant progress, and together, we will get through this.